Hi and welcome to Tech Nation TV. This week we got some big news from Sprint. We got some uh, rumors from Google and possibly some uh, April Fool's jokes. Also, some self-defense for you ladies out there. Hi and welcome to Tech Nation TV. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And this week, like I was telling you, the biggest news of the week was Sprint is dropping WiMAX altogether. Yes. They are cutting their contracts with Clear or Clearwire as they were known previously. Uh, they're not going to be doing the 4G via WiMAX. They're going to be, be doing it through LTE. I guess they were watching last week and how disappointed we were that we found <laughs> out WiMAX is not actually 4G. <laughs> exactly. And it's like, like 3.75. We can't piss off those text nation guys anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Sprint. Exactly. So your WiMAX phone that you have will yes. now be discontinued, and so you're going to have to get a new one. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Exactly. So yeah, Sprint's, uh, Sprint also shares the network, like I said, with Clearwire, uh, Boost Mobile, mm -hmm. uh, who, you know, I don't know, I, I want to say Is Metro PCS. All those little other ones out yeah, there. Yeah, so if, if you were looking for your 4G through WiMAX, it's not going to happen. So, on a side note, I don't want to get too deep into it, but also because Sprint is dropping 4G, uh, Amazon, or not Amazon, I'm sorry, Best Buy mm -hmm. is dropping some stores, but putting some more up. Yeah. And then also, RIM is uh, maybe on the verge of a tip over to the going down to the bottom. So, we'll see how those but companies go. That could be a good thing, because remember, Nokia was kind of, mm, right. what happened to Nokia? Exactly. And now that Lumina... Lumia 900. Lumia 900. I just pre-ordered mine. That's right. Which we'll have one to debut here shortly. Yeah, we're gonna get. I'm gonna get mine two days before they actually release it in the United States at the stores. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I pre-ordered mine last night. I'm, I got the black one. So a good thing part of, about it was I got $25 off because I'm part of a corporate network. So I only had to pay $75 for it. There was a deal apparently, and I don't know if it was an April Fool's joke or not, but there was a deal that said if you were a brand new AT&T customer. You could go to this ATT.com slash Nokia Lumia, whatever, mm -hmm. slash $100 off, get it for free. Every time I clicked on the link, it went to a oops, not here thing. So mm. there, there, was some, there was some news about that. That could have been a prank. I, I, I think so. Um, something, though, that is not a prank and has been rumored for multiple, multiple years Google Drive. Yes. It, and uh, there's been a lot of Firefox add ons, uh, Google Chrome add ons. Mm -hmm. Uh, to actually do this for your Gmail to store files within Gmail. I think it saved them as like attachments in an email or something like that. Mm -hmm. But you've always had access to them. Yeah. Well, Google's never had an official drive per se in the cloud. But now with people like Box, Dropbox, you got uh, Microsoft with their SkyDrive, you got, you know, Pogo, Pogo Plug, Plug, if you want to make your own cloud drive, you know, that sort of thing. iCloud through Apple. I mean, everybody's doing it, so that's the way things are going to go. Is this is this true? We don't know just yet. It's it's a screenshot that has come out, and we'll show you here. This is the Google Drive for Windows, thanks to Talk Android, as you were saying previously. Uh, yeah, is it going to be true? We don't know. Is you know is it a possibility? I Very, think so. Yeah, they have the money. I mean, they bought Kansas City, so <laughs> they can tear out some of that section of the neighborhood there and just put up their own cloud center like uh, Apple did in North Carolina. Oh geez. I, I tell you, I'm either moving to A, Austin, Texas where Apple's fixing to put up a whole new corporate place mm -hmm. or B, Kansas City where Google bought out the entire friggin' city. So, you know, either way I'll be surrounded by technology because Nashville is not exactly the technology hub. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of technology going on here but it's a lot of old fuddy-duddies who are eh, never mind, I'm not even going to get into it. So... <laughs> Um, anything, I, I know that you were telling me about this early and I, and I have to laugh because him and I have been talking about this geode iPhone case mm -hmm. where it basically removes the need for having a wallet and putting it over your iPhone 4, iPhone 4S. And that company, Geode, has raised over, as of today, over $260,000 when they were only requesting $50,000. And there's still like 20 days to go. I mean, what it... It eliminates that need of where Apple is like, oh, maybe we'll put NFC in it, maybe we won't, because we could, if you want the Google Wallet, you got to have NFC. There's no way around that. Right. This company is like, well, well forget it. If Apple's just going to keep turn, turning the gears, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to go around it. Right. And they did it in a good way. Oh, yeah. 
So tell me, tell me, we got some back and forth about that, and you actually showed me a few other cases. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about those cases that you were looking at, because I thought this was pretty funny what you were telling me. Well, these are more of a uh, self-defense uh, case. <laughs> I, I guess, love it. You know, you want to protect your wallet, but this case protects you. <laughs> Which uh, I I got on this because of this uh, new the girls around me app. If you haven't heard about that and you didn't get a chance to play with it. It's not any longer. Sorry. You missed out. <laughs> but basically what it was, it worked with Foursquare and Facebook and just GPS pretty much. And you pull up that map on the app and we'll have a screenshot here of what it looked like. And there would be a picture of a girl, her Facebook photo, and you know her exact GPS locations, latitude, <laughs> longitude. So you know... Uh, so this is like find my friends on the iPhone, but really creepy style because... Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, hey, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Which I'm sure she wasn't on it, but you know. Yeah, your friends. If you didn't friends watch out what you signed up for in apps, then right. you could, ladies I'm talking to mostly here, um, you know, you never know what you're a part of. So be sure to check your privacy settings in Facebook and in Twitter and Foursquare. And Make sure those things, you sign up for those, you know, they have to email me or they have to yeah. know me, one of those things. There's a way to protect yourself. You, you just have to do a little bit of work. If you want to if you want to play, you know, you got to pay. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of which, you know, to protect yourself a little bit from this, uh, we got our first case here. I'll throw a screenshot here. It's the, uh, it's a case with a mace pepper spray on the side of it here. I like it. I like it. It's, it's easily... They call uh, it the smart guard. I think it should have been called the mace case. <laughs> I like mace case better, but they call it the smart guard. So, as you see, it's the case, and on the side is a... Uh, a case of mace, pretty much. A, a cylinder of mace. It's locked in. They claim that, you know, if a baby gets a hold of it, it's not going to be able to spray itself in the eyes, which... Oh! Exactly. <laughs> you know any two-year-old, they're going to be able to grab that right out. And also, it has a, um, a chemical in it. It's got a little too much for some states to allow. Oh, wow. So this case is illegal in a couple of states. So if I you want it. it, be sure to check your state's rules. We here at Text Nation, no, no, you can't sue us for any of that. <laughs> we'll just tell you about it. <laughs> Which I think is pretty cool, you know, I mean, because you're mostly on your phone anyway. Right. Walking to your car or whatever, checking your text or whatever. Someone comes up, and if you're able to unlock it and take care of business, that's if you're not just staring at your uh, text walking. and walking into a lake. And <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say, <laughs> walking into a lake. Or for the 83-year-old woman who walked right into an Apple Store glass front door. All right, fellas, I didn't uh, forget about you either, pansies. But if you need a, a case to protect yourself as well, it's called the knuckle case. I like it. It's a case, and it's got the brass knuckle set up on it. Uh, it is made of a uh, hard aluminum, but if I were to hit rusty <laughs> with it, I think my phone would go out with it as well. Yeah, that's the only thing. It, it it's more, uh, they, they, uh, on the website, they want it to be more of a novelty, which actually is... It's a good grip, so you know if you're holding onto your phone, checking or whatever you got, you know, it's not going anywhere because you got those rings locked into your fingers. But I mean, if hey, push comes to shove, <laughs> you got to take care of business. At least one good time. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, the knuckle case and the s smart guard. There you go. Now I would like to say, I would like to take the uh, knuckle case mm -hmm. to these people right here. Oh yeah, net yeah. zero, net zero. Finally got it. Well, actually, I got it like last week sometime, but uh, yeah. So I'm sitting there and I'm on the phone with these guys, you know, constantly trying to figure out wh what they're going to do for me, blah, 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 whatever. And I'm like, I told you not to ship this thing in the first place and you shipped it and I got it. I haven't even opened it yet. I, I'm just going to slap the label right back on it and send it right back to you. And they were like, no, 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 it's yours to keep. I'm like, you don't understand. I didn't want it in the first place. I told you not to send it, blah, 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 blah whatever. So all that drama goes on. Probably about three or four days of arguing with different people on different units. You because know, you know how customer service is. You never yeah. get the same person. And then the one time they called me, they called me from an 866 number. And I never answered phone numbers from 866 because you never know who could it be. Yeah. So um, after talking to the right person, like I said, three or four days later, I finally got a return address. Which actually was the exact address that was on the box. So I should have just sent it right back. But either way, they gave me an RMA. And they said, you need to go through and open the box. And I said... No, I don't. You just give me an RMA number and I'm good. Yeah. They were like, no, no, no. you got to open up the box and you know, tell us what the R a RMA number is that's on your on your actual device. And I said, what? And they're like, no, 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 you have to open they it up. Can't, they can't put that. Yeah, yeah, I know. So anyway, 
she says, this is how you're going to find it. She goes, it's on the box, or it's on the inside of the device behind the battery. It's your MAC address. And so I open up my box, and the first thing I find is right here, MAC address. Oh, really? Do I, do, do I, can I go with it? No, 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 it's on the inside. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's something a little bit different. So I open the stupid thing, and I, and I get it open, and I'm like, all right, well, let's see what we can do with this thing. All right, get past the quick start guide, get past the crap, get past the CD, which you still have to install software on your local PC to access the stupid wireless hotspot. Why net zero? I have no idea. It should just be a wireless hotspot. So I open the stupid thing up, and here it is. I haven't even pulled the plastic off, it up, off of it because I'm still going to ship it back. So I go through and I'm like, okay, maybe there's a different number there is. So I'm like, all right, whatever, lady. So I go through and I'm looking at the stupid thing and I'm like, all right, we're going to get this thing, you know, off. And she goes, it's underneath the battery, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, there's another thing that says Mac address right there. Is that it? Because that's the same thing on the outside box. She's like, no, 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 it's underneath the battery. And I look and I'm like, there's a model number, there's a part number, there's all this other stuff. I said, there's nothing there that says Mac address. She goes, well, what does it say exactly right outside of the... Uh, the little label there in the back and I said it says Mac address she goes oh well I guess that'll work I said you made me open the stupid thing and it was on the outside you of the box voided the <laughs> so if come to find out if I voided the warranty by opening the stupid thing I'm gonna be a little bit heated with them and I'm gonna have a long drawn-out conversation with somebody who has some intelligence and what I don't get though is why is it there is so many Indian people in California because this is where I called to get this information and I, I just don't get it. So, uh, and the, the funny thing about it is, you know who Net Zero is using their 4G through? Um, Clearwire. Why Max? Exactly. It's so, useless. Exactly. It's so, just another reason to not get the Net Zero hotspot 4G, non 4G wireless device. I'm just saying. But something that is not uh, an April Fool's joke or anything, well, actually, it is an April Fool's joke. Uh, a lot of this, because today is April the Fool's Day, uh, what we're looking at is going around the web. A lot of things get, you know, pumping through the web. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest ones was Google Maps and NES Tribute. And I'll put up a screenshot here, as you can see. Uh, you can actually go to the Google Maps section and look for the NES map, and there's actually it, what looks like Zelda, I guess. You know, that game, that style, I don't know if you've seen it yet, mm -hmm. but it's that style, and that's how they map out the entire United States. The great thing that went behind it, though, was the video that talked about Google Maps for 8-bit for NES. And they show the NES that actually hasn't been released in the United States. It's only in Japan or China or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they show you actually have to blow into the stupid thing, <laughs> putting the cartridge in to make it work, and then, like, wiggling it. And they're like, oh, by the way, to get it on the Internet, we've recreated a whole new cartridge. And they show you all these chips and everything. And they plug a dial-up modem into the stupid thing, and you go... Burr, 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 burr. And, you know the whole whole deal I thought that was great <laughs> so uh, don't fall for that obviously it's April Fool's um, one of the other big ones actually was YouTube on DVD you have to go see this video it's called the YouTube collection the magic of YouTube it's great because they tell you you can get every video based upon sections of YouTube delivered to you and I think they said 107 trucks or something like yeah. that and you still get more truck well, 107 loads. trucks is just that one topic yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it's it's huge. I love it. Um, there's all sorts of prank articles, much like this one here. Self-driving car, uh, sponsored by Google and NASCAR, which would be hilarious because they actually did. It would go right to Taco Bell. <laughs> uh, Conan O'Brien actually also posted a YouTube video saying that he has now bought Mashable for $3,500, mm -hmm. <laughs> which was great. you got to watch that video. Uh, TechCrunch is put up, techcrunch.com slash drama. You gotta check that out. That's pretty funny as well. Uh, the Reddit timeline, uh, obviously facing after Facebook's timeline, yeah. which was great. Um, this one you actually told me about, yeah, the little tiny computer. Yeah, the Sony Ultrabook. Yeah. I don't have one on me, but <laughs> it's the size of a quarter. Exactly. Super, super tiny thing. It's great. Uh, of course, ThinkGeek, always one of the biggest proprietors of April Fool's Day, doing the creeps. Um, instead of the peeps, peeps exactly those uh, then also let's see there was probably a couple more that I missed uh, but a lot a lot of cool stuff happens on April the 4th for people that are putting out product things and they they spend a lot of time on this you know just for the gag it's great so make sure you check them out anything else we got for them this week anything else no
can't think of anything, all right? Well, make sure you follow us online. We've got four different locations. I've got Facebook.com slash TV, Twitter.com at TextNationTV, YouTube.com slash TV, and TextNation.TV. And I have to give him a round of applause because that is the first time he remembered the other two that I didn't already do. But also, don't forget, I've actually made a Google, I think it's gplus.to, yeah, that right there. That will get you to our Google Plus. Please add us into your circles. Uh, it's basically just going to be the same news that I put up on Facebook, but if you're not on Facebook and you're a part of the Google Plus, you know, add us in your circles. We'll, you know, we'll add you right back. You will, you know, follow us, whatever. Whatever it is that you do, we're pretty much on it, except for Pinterest. I will not get on Pinterest anyway shape form or fashion my other show has though unfortunately oh, yeah? and I told him to take care of it because I'm not touching Pinterest with a 10-foot pole <sighs> but anyway that's it for this week of text nation TV we'll see you again for episode number 35 where next week maybe we'll be touching the Windows Nokia Lumia phone 900 exactly <laughs>